Okay, guys, we're going to make a, uh, try to make a fire again using solar energy. Here's a bird nest right here. Now, you can make a bird nest yourself, but there's no birds in this nest right here. They've been gone for a while. They're usually spring and fall. So, we'll grab a little bit of material here from bird nest. Okay, guys, this is our real bird's nest right here. And when you look at a bird's nest, um, and you're going to make your own bird's nest out of grass and straw and whatever you can find, and you're going to make it real fine. And this right here gives you a great idea, looking at a real, real bird's nest, how fine everything is in here, just tiny, tiny stuff in here, twigs and straw and like a little bit of cotton there and maybe a little piece of wood birds put all kind of stuff in there but it's really micro small and that's really fine stuff and when you make a bird's nest it's usually going to be a handful like like this right here when you make a bird's nest and so you will have in the center of that bird's nest you should push it down with your hand so it looks like a bird's been sitting inside the nest itself then you're going to take some really fine stuff that you pick up and you may have to grain it with your hand and put the fine stuff in the center and outside the center is going to be something that's a little bit more medium material than this a little bit thicker and then on the outside it's going to be even thicker okay and uh so but you got to have the really fine stuff in the center where you put your uh char cloth at and this is our char cloth right here. You can see how black that is. Uh, it's been charred. It's brought down to the carbon level. That was a T-shirt, 100% cotton T-shirt that was processed. And I've got videos, I think, on the uh, process. This is a piece of the char cloth, too. And uh, see how black that is. And so we're going to tear off a piece of that hopefully that'll be enough and what's neat about today instead of using a spark we're going to use solar power and um, and that will be using a magnifying glass I was at the hardware store the other day and they had magnifying glass all different sizes for like two of them for four dollars you want something kind of compact and you want to clean your glass too, make sure it's clean uh, before you use it. And so there's a difference in size right here. So what we're going to do is uh, concentrate a beam of sunlight onto the center of our char cloth right here. And once that's lit, we're going to put it in the center right here and fold that up and blow on it. You got to blow hard. The 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 more wind that you get to the ember that's here in the char cloth the hotter it gets and the faster it grows and produces more heat and so hopefully we catch that up okay so let's see can you see that right there all right it doesn't take much you want a, a beam kind of like a laser I can see it smoking already. You see that? We just kind of fold that up and wrap it in here. And don't blow straight down, blow to the side. see right there a little coal for ember let's 
so we have flames here and we'll set that down right there and I'm trying to make sure you can see that and so you just put this in your wood pile when this you've got set up already okay I'm just blocking a little bit of that wind But once you stick this into your wood pile right here, it'll catch it'll catch up real easy, and uh, that's how you do it. Just a little bit of a a spark here. Now you see that smoke. That's still part of that charred part. Let me start breaking it apart. And this is part of the char cloth in here too. Okay, guys, that's uh, so much fun. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, we got our bird nest material from a real bird nest. Hard for me to see this camera. Okay, I think that's in the middle. But, so we use this smaller magnifying glass a lot of times people will say you get you need 10 power. Well, you don't need 10 power. Uh, it's nice if you got 10 power. Uh, and, and maybe 10 power would be good when you don't have very much sunlight. It might help in that situation. Uh, but this one is the one that's a little bit bigger. It's not much bigger. Uh, probably a half an inch bigger. And so... You know, even like this piece of wood right here, if we focus this beam of light on this piece of wood right here, you see the wood is smoking already. So it doesn't take that much to get a fire going. Uh, if you got the right material now you, you wouldn't want to try to burn that with a magnifying glass You would put this in very tiny pieces to catch that on fire Okay, so I'm just showing you how how fast that works with the magnifying glass So it doesn't take but just a few seconds So let's try this right here And watch the beam now you can put your hand over here and kind of steady your hand and get it closer to you got like a pinpoint laser beam on it. And feel the end right there, huh? Maybe you can see that a little bit. Now we place this in the center and roll it up. The wind got that. You can see the ember right, right here. Put that in the center. And see it smolders for a while, so you got you got time there. Now remember, don't blow down on top of it because it blows. The flame will come up in your face and burn your eyebrows. You gotta blow hard. I don't know if you can see the ember. Try to get that in your camera. Okay, 
think you can see that right and see how well that burns right there and you'd have a bunch of stuff on your bird nest on the outside and this would catch that up and uh, so it would burn real quick And if it looks like it's going out, you can just blow it. So right here we have our bird's nest right here. Again, this is a real bird's nest. And here's some leaves and stuff. Now it was frost this morning and with that frost and all, the leaves are wet, but you got to pick up the leaves on top of the ground because the sun's had a little bit of time to warm to uh, dry the leaves on top of the ground. So you want to break them up like that. And tear them apart. Start out small. See, this is normally what you're going to have. It's going to be a lot more than this right here when you make your bird's nest, okay? And so, this is the stuff that's going to burn later but you gotta have the fine stuff then you got a medium then you're gonna have large okay so this is make an opening here and so we light our cloth and we put it here and then we would just roll all of this up okay and we're just going to use our small magnifying glass and that looks like it's maybe close to two inches or inch and three quarter on this magnifying glass and we got a piece of cloth here and try to see if you can see that okay and we got a magnifying glass here now you can hold your hand over here and kind of support your hand if you want to uh, so that uh, you get a you get a beam just like a laser beam on it, okay. It only takes a few seconds. See it smoking already, and you may not see it turn red right off the bat, but maybe you can see that. And it's getting hot. Put that in the center. And we roll that up. real key too is blowing hard in here uh, to get the air to go through everything. Blow through the side. This is like giving mouth to mouth ventilation to bring this alive. Okay. Let 
don't maybe you see it there it's we have ignition and you can kind of turn it whatever direction you want to the flame to catch up See, you have you have fire, and that's kind of how your bird nest would be. It just starts off like that, and you take that and put it in your fire, okay? And you can sprinkle stuff on it. Now, if you had lighter wood right here, you would you'd really have a fire really quick with lighter wood. before I burn my lid off here. Uh, that's, that's the way you would do it, guys. And you see how simple that is. It's just really simple to do. And, uh, and again, this, it was 27 degrees this morning. It was frost all over the ground. The, the, the leaves are wet. And you just grab... Uh, you just grab the leaves on top. And the leaves underneath will be wet. Like these right here are wet. So just pick up the leaves off the top right there. Because the sun dries them out quicker. If you get a wet leaf like that, just throw that to the side. Get all your dry stuff. And then crunch it up. And make it fine. And uh, it will burn.